Hey YouTube friends, Alicia here with another video of my completed or hopefully completed junk journals. I keep adding more things to them, but um, they need to go out in the mail tomorrow. These are the ones that somebody has pre-ordered and I got behind on a lot of my crafting projects due to um, my mom's husband getting so sick and then passing away. But um, the funeral's done and everything is kind of getting taken care of now so I'm getting back on track with what I need to. Anyways with that said let's get into them. This one I have showed you I've added a bit more things to it but I don't think I'll do a separate video um, but I will show you the other one. So I've posted this one on Junk Journal Junkies and then I asked people if they thought I should add the black cording and they all said yes. Uh, it was a nightmare. I couldn't get it to stick and then I couldn't find my glue gun and yeah that's also the other reason that this journal took so, so long was I had no way to get this cording to stick but I finally managed. I don't know if I'm crazy about it to be honest but after all the work I put into it it's staying. Um, this one is bound pamphlet, pamphlet stitch style as well but the binding is on the inside. Okay. Oh, and these are gift tags. I got tons of them and I want to start using them right away. So I did. This was an ornament and then I just cut it to look like the moon going behind the tree. The covers are coffee dyed and it's really glittery, but my camera won't pick that up. And I should also say the pages are exactly the same as the other journal, so all that's different is the embellishing. Okay, and it's still stiff. Huh? Um, the pages have some washi tape. I got some new washi tape. This was gifted to me by Andrea on Junk Journal Junkies, and I've had it in my stash for a really long time, and I thought, okay, I haven't used it for anything. Time to use it, so... It was fitting for this journal. And I was trying to use things that I had out for this journal. Like I have a lot of craft supplies, but you know how it is. Your desk is full of scraps and everywhere around it's full of scraps. And so I was trying to use embellishments and scraps and things that I've had out from previous projects. Another stamp. These are those flowers from the Lays, the Hawaiian Lays that I get from my thrift store and I have tons of them and because on their own they don't look good, uh, I uh, doubled it up to make it look fuller and then added a black die cut flower and a green fuzzy brad and now I think it looks cute so yeah I left it like that and it matches perfectly with the page. Like, this is just coffee dyed and stamped. I got tons of these from my thrift store too. I don't know how many I have. A couple hundred anyways. So yeah, they'll be in a lot of my journals. <laughs> this is stamp. This was a new stamp that I got. It's actually a wall stamp, why, which is why it's so big, but I thought it kind of works to add interest as a background. And just a piece of scrap paper. This is that homemade washi tape that I still need to do a video on. The pockets are all empty. Some stickers. I'm not sure. Somebody gifted these to me and I really like them. Uh, but I don't use stickers a lot so I'm trying to use some supplies that I have that um, I haven't used in a while. There we go. This is the second signature. I like this. I like embellishing doilies. Um, obviously this one's just stamped, coffee dyed um, with glitter spray and then stamped and embossed. And this is just a music tag that I've made. This here I did with... Uh, 
Okay, I think it's old typewriter paper, but it has to... Oh, let's just show you. Sorry, that was kind of loud, but... And you can just tear it off. And, and then I took my sponge and put distressing through it. I thought it looked really neat. So I did that. Um, yeah, I don't know what I was thinking when I did this, but something different. I put the flap this way, and then it, yeah, I don't know. Kind of thinking more writing space, because when the flap's on the inside of the envelope, it's difficult to write on. And then, of course, you can just tuck whatever you want in there still. Uh, these are some of the After 8 bags that I have. My mom saves them for me. And then these just are little strips. I really like journals that have like interactive elements, whether they're practical or not. I mean, you could write on these, but I I put them there a lot just for looks. Um, another envelope. It's a um, paper tape. Another paper clip that I've made and the piece of stamp, uh, just an image, stamped image. Uh, this is paper that I had underneath something that I was working on and just had some cool texture and it sparkles. This is an envelope. Here she can put in a picture. There's not really a lot of places for pictures because uh, everything is coffee dyed. I mean, I know lots of people still put pictures in even if their journals are coffee dyed because, you know, we have them all backed up, but she can put whatever she wants in here. And what this is, is, uh, they put them on postal packages, like, to protect the shipping label. And I have a whole box of them and I really didn't know what I was going to do with them, but I, I thought there was something else when I bought them is what had happened, but I have them now, so now I'm trying to use them. This is a pocket. Ah, there you go. I have nothing to stick off. Hang on. Oh, no, I'm off camera. But yeah, that's a pocket. And I had this on my out on my um, bed because I was working on my bird's drunk journal, and I thought, well, it was just a scrap. Piece, so I thought it'd be fitting for this journal. Uh, this is another paper clip I made. This is fun. Uh, these are some fake leaves that I got from my thrift store. They were, I have a ton of them as well. And then another flower from the lay. And then this flower somebody gave to me. It's a paper flower. more homemade washi tape and then just an index card folded in half. This I made a while back. It's a tuck spot. It's just um, some ribbon that I stamped on and added uh, some eyelet trim to. Most people know I like to make embellishments and I like to make them and I hardly ever use them. I either give them away or they just kind of sit. So I've had lots of fun actually using the embellishments I've made. Sorry, I'm just kind of flipping through pages that have nothing on them. Another sticker. I like that sticker. I love birds. <laughs> this is a little tuck spot. And that is the end. Um, let me know what you think. Uh, oh, sorry. I just stuck my hand on the camera. Um, I need to get this off to its new home shortly here. But thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you later.